Houdini performed this escape over 80 years ago. Legend has it that when he died, his body was buried in the coffin he used for this very escape. Let's hope the same thing doesn't happen tonight. The magician raps on the coffin to prove that it's solid. It's solid, all right. 200 pounds of ponderosa pine. He steps inside and sits down, hoping this won't be his final resting place. A blindfold is placed around his eyes. I wouldn't want to look either. His assistants shackle him inside the coffin with thick leather straps and heavy steel buckles. First his arms are pinned down by his sides, then his ankles are bound securely in place. Hold all calls, this guy's all tied up. The lid of the coffin is then nailed shut. Through the shatterproof plexiglass window, we can check on the magician's progress. Yep, he's still in there, along with only three minutes of oxygen. Better hurry. Here comes the crane. Nothing magical about that. It's just there to lower the masked man's coffin six feet into the cold and clammy ground. This is one secret he may take to the grave. One more check on the magician. Looks like there's no way out. At this point, he's been in the coffin for almost a minute. Even I'm getting a little claustrophobic. Down he goes. Next, the grave is filled with dirt. 6,000 pounds to be exact. Those shovels would take all day so the girls get a little help from some heavy equipment. It's a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Many magicians have died while attempting this escape. Let's not make it one more. By this point, the magician is probably feeling a little lightheaded. If he panics, it's all over. Let's hope he keeps his cool. The magician has now been down there for two minutes. And the girls keep right on shoveling to fill that six foot grave. He should be out of the restraints by now. If not, we'd better start looking for a new magician. By now, the air in the coffin is almost gone. To conserve his energy, the magician must control his breathing and lower his heart rate. That won't be hard. He's probably half dead by now anyway. Another 2,000 pounds of dirt. That's a big hole. I assure you that the magician is still under the ground. Remember, no camera tricks have been used to pull off this or any other illusion on tonight's show. We're just past three minutes, and still no sign of him. Rest in peace, masked man. But what's this? Could I be wrong? Is that our magician rising from the grave? It's him, all right. A little dirty and a little out of breath. But lucky to be alive. The masked magician has escaped an early grave. 
and the great Houdini couldn't have done it any better. Have you figured it out? Here are the secrets. The magician climbs into the coffin and his assistants strap down his arms and legs. Those are impressive looking restraints, except they're attached to the coffin with Velcro. Once the lid is nailed shut and he's lowered into the ground, the magician frees himself from the straps and slips out a trap door that's built into the side of the coffin. But where does he go? Next to the grave, a small wooden room is concealed in the ground, complete with fresh air and a light. What, no TV? While the grave appears to be an eerie six foot deep hole in the ground, it's really an elaborate set piece made of wood then covered with fabric and dirt to make it look realistic. That's Hollywood. Inside the room is a sliding shelf that pushes out into the grave. This shelf about two feet beneath the surface will provide the step the magician needs to climb up out of the grave. As the first load of dirt is being poured into the hole, he re-enters the grave slipping through a secret panel. He pulls himself onto the shelf and waits until the hole is filled before standing up and revealing himself. Of course, the audience thinks he's still in the coffin. When the dust clears, you can see that the magician, lightly covered in dirt, is actually crouched on the shelf. He takes his last gasp of breath while the final load of dirt fills the grave. Inside the room, a stagehand nervously stands by with oxygen should anything go wrong. It will be almost two full minutes before the magician will be able to take another breath of air. With all that weight crushing his lungs, there is a real danger of suffocation. After what must seem like an eternity for the magician, the hole is finally filled and it's time for his dramatic reappearance. A suspense-filled pause and the masked magician stands up on the shelf. He slowly pulls himself out of the ground. First one hand appears, then the other. Finally, his whole body. And though he badly needs air, our magician stands proud 